Hello, look what I've got. Mmm, my first lab power supply. So hop on board and let's test it out. I'm just curious if those things are connected. And no, obviously they are not. So this thing is uh, uh, not, it's isolated power supply, it is not a uh, reference to earth, which is good. Let's see how this thing does under load. Uh, here I connected car bulb, it is 55 watts I think. This should provide uh, 45 watts of power maximum, so it should be, uh, yeah, uh, okay, L type of load. Um, I connected my scope with ground lead here and I will scope here, which is really not a good way to do it, but uh, yeah, okay. Please excuse the crudity of this video, it's not the best technically in my camera and everything. So what you can see on the scope is uh, what I get, okay, let me adjust the triggering a little bit. This is what I get with uh, my uh, ground lead connected, which is not the best because it will pick up all kinds of noise around. But yeah, it will do and I don't have all that many uh, noise here in this lab. I use incandescent bulb not um, there is no switching stuff in the lightning and i don't have any switching stuff connected except my scope my power supply is off and i have the now as you see it i have the apple power book charger see it this one for old Apple power make it is, it is connected to the outlet nearby and the scope is at 5 millivolts, millivolt, uh, millivolts per division uh, uh, 5 microseconds um, and the ground lead is connected as you saw to the ground of the power supply and the uh, probe is just uh, connected nowhere it's floating so let's put this to, okay, this is at 500 microvolts. So let me unplug the power book, power supply, no, it doesn't make any difference. So this is with the power book adapter connected and let me connect the Okay, this is with the notebook connected and charging. So obviously this thing introduces some noise. So let me disconnect it all together. Okay. Another thing, let me try to put the... Okay, what happened now? Yeah, if I move the probe, this thing will change. This thing is just antenna. This is what happens if I connect uh, the tip of the probe to the positive terminal of the power supply output. So let's magnify, magnify that. Yeah, this is what you get at five, 500 microvolts with the uh, Apple power brick connected. Uh, 
I don't think the scope is fast enough to pick up all this but it looks interesting junk so let me disconnect the power brick and it's still here let me turn off the light although this thing shouldn't have make any difference okay let me put it to auto triggering uh, it's cool let's play with it a little bit wow look at that oops I turned the wrong dial so yeah it looks a little bit different on camera but yeah this is okay this is actually with everything disconnected and uh, And the, I'm not probing the the plus terminal of power supply. By the way, the power supply is turned off. Okay, it's plugged into the mains socket, but it's turned off. The, now I'm probing the positive terminal, and let me try to unplug it from the mains and probe the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the power supply is unplugged from the main, from the mains socket and I'm probing the plus terminal. So, yeah, somebody more experienced can tell me what's going on. Now it's unplugged. And there is some, hmm, almost sinusoidal waveform at 500 microvolts per division 5 uh, 10 milliseconds 10 milliseconds per division so let me try to position this yeah so you can calculate the the frequency of this wave so once again this is okay let me try to yeah this happens if I just have probe like this interesting so the probe is the ground is lead is disconnected altogether when I connect ground lead I think it's the same frequency but smaller amplitude. Yeah, it's probably picking up something from 50 Hz, I would presume, but I didn't measure it. So, where's the. Okay, let me put the power supply under load. Unfortunately, you cannot see all this but I'll tell you what I'm doing okay okay this is with power supply on it, the current limit is at zero and the voltage voltage is at zero. Now I'm turning the current limit to maximum and at output there is half amp and one volt with this. So a little bit loaded. 
so let me crank it up uh, the noise jumps as I turn the dial now there is 2.2 amps 6 volts and there is 10 volts 3 amps and we are hitting the uh, constant current current limit because why is this thing changing hmm. Yes, now the po power supply is just okay. Now it's at constant in constant voltage mode, 2.9 amps, 10 volts. Constant voltage, and when I hit constant current, constant voltage. When I hit constant current, this thing happens. Yep. This is 3 amps, 10.8 uh, volts. So let me uh, decrease the uh, current limit. Okay, now. Uh, this is 7.5 volts, 2.3 amps, uh, current limited. And uh, if I lower it, maybe you can hear the relay click. Now it's 7 volts, 2.21, 2.2 amps. And the relay um, uh, switched the top on the linear transformer. Let me adjust the trigger a little bit, or maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the trigger. So, this is what we get. Obviously, when, I ch when, when the top on the transformer is changed, so there is more noise on the voltage above 7.5 volts hmm. so let me constant current let yeah i cannot so this noise is only when the supply is in constant current mode when it's constant voltage it doesn't happen let me magnify that this uh, it's too much Okay, let me trigger it manually. So this is at one uh, one millivolt per division and five uh, milliseconds per division. This is what you get at uh, this uh, first tap. So yeah, go figure it out. And it, the heatsink is warm. I would say 50 degrees, 40, 50 degrees. So, but uh, I'm abusing it near the limit, not for long. But I would say this is good, no fans really. I wanted to buy, uh, uh, probably I would normally cho choose a 30 volt 3 amp or 30 volt 5 amp power supply, but all of these have uh, fans, especially Chinese ones, constant speed fans that always create noise. But I'm really happy with this passive cooling, yeah, for, for most of the things. 15 volts is enough and 3 amps and no noise, lower power, okay, yeah, the efficiency probably the same. So I'm pretty happy with this little power supply.
I don't know about these noise measurements. It's the first time I'm measuring this stuff. I'm just uh, experiment experimenting. So if you have comments on this, please comment it in on YouTube. Let me know what you think. Uh, I really am not sure what to make out of it. But it seems like um, periodic 50 Hz noise um, and it doesn't seem like a ripple from, um, you know, from rectification. I, I don't recognize it in that waveform, but maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you for watching.